This is a painting I made a year and a half ago, and this is the painting that I'm starting now. I wanted to have a project that tracked my progress as an artist and would showcase my technical development, and now it's time to see how far I've come. My main philosophy on developing skills is that you need to put in the work. The number one rule of getting better at something is that you improve the most by doing the thing. I like to call this defaulting on action. When you don't know what to do, you default on taking action. You take the next right action for where you want to go. I knew that over the course of the next couple of years, the best thing that I could do if I wanted to get better at painting was to spend time making paintings. And so that's what I did. I started making paintings long before I was ready to. My first ones weren't great as I didn't really know what I was doing yet. It can be a good practice when you're learning to paint to do cast or bust paintings. This is because you get to model the human form in a static position. You get to focus on the values of the light rather than being distracted by color, which you can add later when you're doing more complex subject matter. My defaulting on action phrase was born out of my readings into a philosophy called Stoicism. Marcus Aurelius was a Roman emperor and is one of the most well-known Stoic philosophers. I thought it would be fitting to paint busts of Marcus until I improved my skills enough to a place where I was happy with them. At first it was hard. I didn't have a good setup to paint and I was using subpar student grade art supplies. I could have let that stop me and I could have waited until I had better things in place, but part of defaulting on action is doing what you can with what you have. If I want to get better at painting, I had to paint even if things weren't ideal at that present moment. I didn't just paint Marcus Aurelius over and over though, I would use bits and pieces I had learned from each painting and turn it into other works. I would keep the hammer down, doing my reps and trying to get better and better at every painting. It was a slow and steady burn but each time I came back to paint another Marcus, I could see improvements in the things that I was working on. I slowly upgraded my setup and art supplies and eventually I felt like things were starting to come together. And that brings us to my most recent painting. I had upgraded my setup, I had the right supplies, I had figured out my process, but most importantly, I had developed my patience to a level where I could sit with a piece until it was at the level that I wanted it to be. I like to paint in layers. Just with how my brain works, it seems like a fitting solution. I don't necessarily think everyone needs to paint like this, but I found it to be the most effective for me to get to an end result. My underpainting is known as a grisaille layer, a colorless layer made up of grays. I mix up different values of black, white, and raw umber to form a blueprint of values that is going to let me come back over top with color in another session. Although I've roughly sketched out where everything needs to be in graphite, there is still a process of pushing and pulling until the proper forms reveal themselves. There's a phrase that I like, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. If I was trying to directly paint in color, I would potentially have massive proportion changes to make afterwards. With all of the time spent mixing colors and trying to get that aspect correct, there would be a lot of wasted time if I needed to go backwards, but with the grisaille layer, the simplification of just using the gray values means I'm able to make large tweaks with relative ease. Once the grisaille layer is set, I can start to work on the first color pass. I know it's not going to get to a full finish, but I'm trying in this layer to take it as far as possible so my last pass can be small color adjustments. This part takes a while, but I'm able to go section by section and slowly bring up each part to a more refined stage. Even though the material of this piece could be thought of as all the same color, I want to push myself and try to incorporate as much variation that was reasonable. I noticed that the right side was tending to be more yellow and the left skewed towards blue. In the same way I was pushing and pulling in the underpainting, I would push and pull my colors until they read as I wanted them to. I said earlier that one of the most important skills I had been developing was my patience and that skill really starts to shine at this next stage of the painting. My last pass on Marcus was to add in various reds, browns, and blues. I think at a certain point earlier in my painting journey, I would have been satisfied with where I had made it to so far, but if you want to be great at something, you have to push further than others are willing to go. It's so easy to say, this is good enough, and to move on to the next part, but it takes patience and focus to stay on task and to bring things up to a level of refinement that will really make the piece shine. Another quick coat on the background to bring down the values and to create more of a contrast with the foreground element would be my final contribution to this piece. After letting it set up for a week, I was able to go over top with Gamvar as a final finishing coat. For the last year and a half, I painted the same thing over and over and over, scratching and clawing my way to where I wanted to be. This was an intentional journey. I knew when I started I wasn't where I wanted to be, but if I showed up and I put in the work, that I could be eventually, if I just kept on painting. 
I don't know that I'm going to take much more out of doing this exercise anymore. I feel like I can close this chapter of my painting career. There was a lot of frustration that came along with it, but I feel good about the work that I put in and the results that I ended up getting. Even though it was a long time to get here, I feel like this is just the beginning for me, and I'm excited to see what comes next.